All right, so, hello. For this one, we have 2 thirds x plus 1 sixth equals 9. So again, let's look at the fraction. We want to get rid of it, right? So to get rid of the fraction or denominator of 6 and 3, I'm going to have to multiply every term by what? 6, six right? Because that's the least common multiple, or we might call it least common denominator. So I'm going to multiply every term times 6. All right? And remember, when multiplying a whole number times a fraction, you can do it a couple ways. You can change your whole number to a fraction and just multiply across. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 divided by 4 is, or 12 divided by 3 is, 4x. You could also look at it 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. All right, so plus here, I have 6 times 1, which is 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1 equals 9 times 6, which is 54. All right, so now let's just solve. So now it's a two-step equation, right? First, always undo addition and subtraction first. So I have 4x equals 54 minus 1, which is 53. Now I need to divide by 4. Do division property of equality. Make sure you do it on both sides. And you get x equals. And let's see here. Um, 4 goes into 40 10 times. It would go in. So then um, it would go into 52 uh, an extra four more times. So, or I'm saying extra three more times. So we're going to have 13, and then there's one left over remainder, so that'd be 13 and 1 fourth. So I'd say 13 and 1 fourth, or we could just uh, 26, or we could reduce this down to uh, yeah, 13 and 1 fourth, or 13.25. Kind of got it? OK. And that's it. That's it for that one. So pretty much same thing, same idea. Probably should have.